On this, our 32nd episode of NSFW, it is all about the mind control because we are joined by the expert of oxytocin himself, Dr. Love, Dr. Paul Zach, who will do what, Justin? Help us complete an experiment with four of our listeners where we will find out who is the most bonded to this show and whether it's me or Brian, who's the real draw? It's all coming up on NSFW. Double complete rainbow. you love from people you trust this is twit bandwidth for nsfw is brought to you by cashfly at c-a-c-h-e-f-l-y dot com this is nsfw episode 32 for july 13th 2010 she backed me up with science This episode of NSFW brought to you by Carbonite. Backing up the files on your PC or Mac is safe and easy with Carbonite. For a free trial plus two free months with purchase, go to Carbonite.com, offer code NSFW. What do you think the greatest gift of the holidays is? Internet? Drunk Jeff I say internet. Yes, absolutely. It's, it's, of course, as easy as it's always been. You get an iMac, 10 minutes out of the box, you're on the Internet. But now Apple gives you uh, your own personal website. You can post your photographs for all your family to see all over the world and your iMovies. And now you're the purveyor of, you're the generator of, you're the author of great stuff. Isn't it nicer to to give than to receive? Yes, it is, drunk Jeff Goldblum. And with that, it is time to give you the latest episode of NSFW, the new sauce for the Webernets, the new show full of wind. I am your host, Brian Brushwood, joined as always by my inimitable co-host, the one, the only, the inimitable so-called Justin Robert Youngification the first. How are you, Mr. J-R-Y, my friend, sir? Woo! I am having a great time. We are on the gosh darn air, and we have maybe the best episode we've ever had in my mind. I am so happy (laughs) about this broadcast. I could not tell you we have uh, a a fantastic guest, an actual legitimate man of science on the program tonight. A PH mother F and D right here on our little show. We are joined by Dr. Paul Zach. How are you, Mr. Paul Zach? Who is that? That you, you, sir. (laughs) You're you're live and you're live. And bring and your go and go. Let's go. Uh, what's going on here, Justin? How did we end up right here? Oh, and first of all, we got to introduce our chat room, our staff writers right here. Uh, what are we doing here today, Mr. J.R.Y.? Well, uh, uh, Dr. Zach, uh, he of Claremont University in uh, lovely Southern California. Uh, you know, uh, doctor, if you could please explain your, your field of, of, of expertise, because it, it's very specific, right? You, you, uh, you, you've just gotten a lot of uh, uh, attention for, well, I'll, I'll let you explain it, because I think that's that's kind of what you're best at. Yeah, dude, why are you here? How did you earn your way onto yeah. this horse cast broadcast? Got the 20 <laughs> bucks in the mail from Brian, and I'm like, eh, what the hell, you know, got nothing else to do, bored. Uh, so, but I, ostensibly, <laughs> like, that's between you and me. Like, for the yeah, rest oh, of the sorry, world, that, what we, are we saying? That that we, yeah, thank uh, you, thank you. Yes, right. So, uh my lab studies these really small questions like why people do stupid things. Not that, you know, anybody on the show has done any stupid things before. Um, and sometimes why they do wonderful things. So we look at uh, good and evil. So these are no sort of small questions I want to start about. And so, and so how do you test, how do you, uh, okay, and, and first of all, some people who are listening to the audio podcast may not realize that you're currently wearing your lab coat, that you're currently clearly wearing, you have a clipboard, <laughs> right. you, and your lab goggles are on, you're clearly, this is not a joke, you know, we are no, prone yeah. on this show. There, there's a vast lab where people who are, are completing their life's work under That's your right. uh, 
you know, very reasoned tutelage. I'm right. sorry, I was drunk. I missed what you said. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and Dr. Balzac is nipping a flask of whiskey and throwing lit matches <laughs> and a pile of damp rags and gasoline. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, uh, most recently you just had a thing in, um, in uh, was it Fast Company Magazine about Fast why company, social yeah. networks? So I have a male bad reputation. They call me Dr. Love because I'm um, all about the biology of love. Isn't that terrible? Well, no, uh, it's I'm, fantastic. I'm, 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 dude, if there's a back door to trick people into loving you, I'm 100% all about it, and I don't see anything bad about it. Let's not talk about back doors in love. I think that's a bad <laughs> Dude, thing. especially the back doors of love. In fact, that's the title of your first book, The Back Doors of Love with Dr. <laughs> Paul. <laughs> but we're going to do some testing. We're going to do an on-air experiment today, right? We're really going yes. to gonna take my lab work, put my PhD on the line, and figure out what the hell is going on in people's brains. Yes, and for and and just to make it very clear, everyone at home, uh, Dr. Paul Zak is an expert in the field of of uh, is it is it a neurotransmitter? What do you call it? What do you call this chemical? Oxy oxytocin. Oxytocin, neurotransmitter. Yes, it's, it's a neurotransmitter more... associated with with feelings of kinship and bonding and family. Is that correct? And attachment and love and caring and empathy. And, and so we want to see if this is really crap or not. Like, maybe I'm just full of crap. It's possible. It, <laughs> it is possible, as, as is everyone else on this podcast. But specifically... So, 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 so there we go. We have found a man who has dedicated his life to a valuable element of describing <laughs> how we operate as a human species. And we're going to prove it right or wrong on this <laughs> podcast. Yeah, you thought your peer-reviewed journal... You thought your peer-reviewed journal publication was tough? That ain't nothing. Nothing compared to the <laughs> NSFW, sir. I'll Very tell you funny. what. So, because I have a button that plays a Vuvuzela. <laughs> <laughs> Take so that. The thing that the thing that blew me away because we met when I was working out at the Magic Castle along with Andrew Main and a bunch of super talented individuals, and you were telling me like in your research for oxytocin levels, you actually went to a wedding and took blood samples from everybody at the wedding, from the actual participants of the wedding, to the family of the wedding, to the distant relatives of the wedding, and you are measuring levels of ox oxytocin in the blood. And what did you find out? So we found out that, not surprisingly, the bride is the center of the wedding solar system. She has this huge spike in oxytocin from before the vows to immediately after the vows. And then the planets align around her. Who's closest to the bride at her wedding? The groom. Oh, come on. You're full of it. Her mother. Who oh, loves yes. Yeah. Her, her mother. Her mother. Yes. Her mother. Then the groom's father. Then the groom's out there. But then everyone's out spread around. So basically, this is ritual. This wedding is a giant emotional bonding experience because we as a species have to ensure that the other humans have babies so we can survive. So we have other people to date and uh, have sex with. So, so now... So, okay, so like, let's say the mom watches the wedding and she gets a flood of this oxytocin chemical in her. What, to whom does she bond? Does she bond to her new son-in-law? Does she bond to, or, or is that useful to bond what into she, her, she, does she, she have good feeling for her husband or? This is why the experiment today online is going to be great because oxytocin is a promiscuous chemical. It doesn't care who you bond to, a dog, a stuffed animal, a groom, any random person. It doesn't really matter. It just says, oh, open up the doors. Let's start hugging everybody. Let's start crying. So uh, true or false, Dr. Zach, oxytocin, the sluttiest of all brain chemicals. <laughs> <laughs> it's very true. Yeah, without sweat, no oxytocin. All right, and to that extent, we are, you know, other podcasts probably get you on, and they're like, tell us about your science, and we'll just believe every word you say. That ain't how we roll here on NSF Dubs. That's not how we roll on the Twit Network. We're going to put your claims to the test, sir. And as a result, we have assembled a crack team of individuals from all over the world. We have Indeed. people in North America, other parts of North America, less popular parts of North America, even in Europe. All the way. <laughs> and Sweden. And Sweden. Uh, all of them around uh, joining us right now online to participate in our mass experiment. And let me actually try to crank up the volume on these gentlemen right here. Hello, subjects. How are you guys? Hello, hey, hello Puppet Jesse. Masters. Hello, there Puppet we Masters. Go. Wow, wow. That's good. <laughs> are you ready to do exactly what we tell you without question? Definitely. Um, all right. Sure, why not? 
All right, good. Take off your clothes. Well, well, here here we go, Bri Bri. Uh, In talking to Dr. Paul Sack in preparation for this episode, what we decided to do was not only determine what the best way that we could bond our audience to (laughs) us, the show, but uh, the most effective and expedient way to do it. So we've taken four proven methods of raising oxytocin levels. We've assigned one to each of our four volunteers, and we are going to run through the experiments and see at the end by scientific proof which bonds them to us the most. Okay, so uh, let me get this straight. We have four volunteers. They're each going to (laughs) conduct certain activities that we give them that according to the research of Dr. Paul Zak, proves to enhance their oxytocin levels. But Indeed. what I don't understand is how do we measure the strength of the effect of these things? Brian, I'm glad you asked that question <laughs> because here's the answer. We are going to give all of them, you know, I've ensured that they all have PayPal accounts. They're going to have the option of donating anywhere from one to $20 to $20. And they will, they'll write that down in secret. They won't tell uh, the other ones uh, what they've donated, and we will therefore tell. Because you know what? You know, talk is cheap, Bri Bri. Dude, you can just flash you don't your need to tell me thumbs. that. You're talking to a guy who talks for a living. <laughs> Nobody knows that talk is cheap. Cheaper exactly. than this cheap skate McCheat skate in a hand. <laughs> what we want is cold, hard online credits that would eventually be turned into money. We want Justin Robert we want. rubles. We want dolphin dollars. We want to see them Brian Bucks. And that's what this is about. So right now, I guess we should tell them, all four gentlemen, you guys right now, write down what your pledge is, a pure donation out of your own pocket. How much money do you love? Are are, are we going to judge it again? So I thought we were just going to do the experiments and then ask them what they wanted to do. Yeah, we got to wait, Brian. We got to wait. Yeah, we got to wait. We got to wait. Well, should there be a before and then after? Like, like, no, 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 like, no. Like we we're going to gonna judge them against each other. No. Oh, shoot. To see who loves us the most. Exactly. Yes. Brilliant. Brilliant. So much better than I would have thought. <laughs> oh, you guys are great. All right. So, uh, I'm sorry, gentlemen. Do not write down how much no, money you want to give no. us. Because <laughs> you, don't listen you have not been sexy loved correctly beforehand. <laughs> we need to get your bondage up and running and your oxytocins <laughs> out in your levels and then we'll ask you how much monies you want to give us. So how are we going to uh, to make this work? All right, we're going to pick uh, one of the four experiments. Uh, and, and you want to know, we're going to go one by one. So we want, or, or do you want to list what the four experiments are? Or do we just want to go through them? I say we introduce our particular character and we explain what experiment he will be performing in order to up his bondage to the NSF Dub show. Indeed. All right, well, we will start with Mr. Mike. He uh, is right now dressed in uh, an NSFW shirt, which I believe he made by himself, and painted his face in red and black after I made a flippant Twitter comment to him earlier this week saying that he should watch the show in face paint. He followed through on it, but he is going to try to up his oxytocin levels by fantasizing about somebody for which he would like to know in the biblical sense. So, okay. uh, Mike. So, so, so here's the thing, and and you said that that oxytocin is a promiscuous neurotransmitter. So, I guess the, the idea is, Doctor Paul, that he fantasizes about boning his eighth grade teacher, whoever it is he wants, and then all of a sudden he's flooded with these love particles, and then the idea being that he will transfer that love to whoever. You know, I don't know. I can kind of see this because it's like I go to a wedding. I'm feeling high, and then some bum comes up, asks for twenty bucks. I'm like, hey, what do I care? The world's yeah, wonderful. Yeah, You're sure. a great guy. We're all brothers here on this planet Earth. That's right. That's exactly what's happened. But the the tension here is: is it you, Brian, or is it Justin? I mean, ah, and you know, therein is the wrinkle to this particular uh, experiment, Brian. Exactly. When they make their pledge of what they're going to donate. It won't just be to the collective that is NSFW show. No, they will have to choose whether they are donating to you or they are donating to me. So they are not only deciding how much they love the show, they are deciding who on the show they love the most. All of a sudden, I'm highly uncomfortable with this experiment. I think it's a bad idea. I think this is an abuse of science. 
And you should be ashamed of yourself, Mr. Jester Robert Do you Young. Hear that? Do you hear that, Mike? This Brian's was already abandoned. Clearly, unlike me, this is clearly an abuse of science, and it was obviously your idea to begin with. Who, who told you you should put on that face paint? Me. That's who. Want to know why? Because I answer your Twitters, not Brian. See, no. okay, Brian's see. too busy. I don't think by a bad week to let the hair down. What? Ah, see, what are you Come saying? Come on, man. See, <laughs> I got you're right. No, I do. I gotta look the part. Is what it is. I'll do, I'll do. I'll do my fake, my fake bride face. There we go. We'll see if that Not does anything. Not working for you, Mike. Not working for me. All right. All right. All right. So, so here we go. Uh, can we bring up Mike's audio? Is that possible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can. We bring up everybody's audio. So I got to remind all of our test subjects to keep their trap shut. Mike, how are you doing, sir? I am fantastic, and yourself, Brian. I'm doing very, very well. Now, what is your challenge that you have to do in order to raise your oxytocin levels to an, a level appropriate to donate to us as much money as we'd like? Can okay, you make it seem like I have to do something to it? Like this is a like a privilege, or like a a pleasure almost. See, and that's the would problem. You, you... It's like of all of our volunteers, somebody who's already wearing face paint. <laughs> to celebrate the show and is wearing a t-shirt with the show like that's somebody who's starting off at 11. i don't know uh, oh, we're gonna see if we can get them higher and that that's the point is that we are moving uh like you said the sluttiest of all brain juices is oxytocin and we're gonna see what that does all right so when what is cordon, cordon through his melon what is michael's task that he has to do to raise Michael's his oxytocin fantasize. level so My michael tell us who you will be fantasizing about okay if i if I knew her name, that'd be awesome, but I don't. That's the problem. That's uh, fine. That's fine. Yeah. You don't need. You don't need to know her name. Who? Uh, how? How do you know her? Where do you see her? Okay. Well, here, let me explain this to you. So today, I was working at the college, doing some tech support and whatever. You know. Anyways, uh, even with summer vacation, there's plenty of students around. So I was like walking towards the server room, and I passed this woman. I say that in a most you know respectful way. Uh, sure. Anyways, so this chick was walking past me and it, it's terrible because it was only for like a moment but like i, t I tell you this chick gotta be like five three super like super short ridiculous short black dress like yeah, yeah, the yeah, short exactly. ladies right. short, yeah. short ladies do it for <laughs> yeah. you is that what's going on oh no you're missing you're not listening to me she's got to be like five three super short black dress and iraq like like iraq like iraq yeah. No, Unstable. Was, yeah. Yeah. Barely put a Iraq together. like Iraq. Yeah. <laughs> now, I gotta say, that was a package. Now that's all right. So this yeah. is a random girl, and and maybe you're thinking you're back in that moment. Things go go a little differently if if you have your way, right? Oh, easily. If things, you know what, a little bit more time between us, you know, maybe a conversation or something. All right, all right, all right. And now different. here's where I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to put you silent. Now just think out that scenario as it goes in the sexiest possible direction. That's right. I, I want to close your eyes, close your eyes and start visualizing. Good. Okay. Every time we come back to you, you better be visualizing. All right. Next up, who else do we have, Justin? All right. Next up we have... From the lovely country of Sweden, it is our own pal, Comrade Carhax. Comrade Carhax, are you there, sir? Yes, I am here. <laughs> I don't use that voice anymore. <laughs> you don't want to use that voice? I think it's a lovely voice. I don't understand what the big deal know, is. Sure. Let's do this. There you go. All right, okay. Comrade Carhax has called in, especially he was one of our chief rats in Operation Clean Out, the communist spies. Uh, dude, Carhax, what experiment are you going to be doing, sir? I am going to be breathing deeply. Breathing deeply? Right. Yes, uh, indeed. Uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Zach, if you can explain uh, the science behind why uh, breathing in and out deeply is not a pain. Who's left? I want you to be in a meditative state. A meditative state. You can say all you want. We want a nice bit of deep breathing. Relaxation. Open this. Can you do that? <laughs> Justin, uh, it sounds like we've got a little bit of a connection yeah. issue with Dr. Paul Zach, but it sounded to me like the gist of it was you want to enter a meditative state, a place of centering and well being. You could go home, um, you could do any number of things. How are you going to enter your Zen meditative state, Comrade Carhax? And I say that even though 
I don't have your audio turned breathe up. Breathe deeply you. and have. I will breathe deeply and have a communist voice. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. There we go. Now, 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 Carax. I know. I know we're all having fun here, but this is the uh, you know the part of the bit that what makes this fun here is that everybody's got to take these elements seriously. That's right. So please uh, try to center yourself as much as possible. Close your eyes. Breathe deeply. Meditate. Center your being. Now, let me tell you something. Uh, you breathe fast. We'll know. We'll know. We'll find you out, and you will be killed. <laughs> You got it? Might not be the best way to get him in a meditative state. Right? Just you, know. you just think right. about the fact that you're about to die, and you better relax meditate or, or we'll kill you. <laughs> yes, meditate or die might be my new bumper sticker. <laughs> Real quick, if we can go back to uh, Mr. Mike in, oh. in the face paint. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. What's Mike, what's I, I assume you have now completed uh, your, your fantasy. Do me a favor and write down on any kind of piece of paper you have how much uh, out of one dollar through twenty dollars, you'd like to donate to the show, and what either me or Brian, you would like that money to go to. And okay? keep in mind, we will hold you accountable. Whatever you pledge, uh, we're we're not going to have everybody actually make you know give us the money. But what was the method that that Dr. Paul had come up with, Justin? Yeah, well, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Dr. Zach, if you can explain the uh, the second uh, second highest principle. <laughs> Don't speak Klingon. Uh, what he was saying. <laughs> what well, here, was... Brian, can you can you call <laughs> Doctor Paul back? Yeah, I'll call Paul? him right back. I'll call. Right. Ex explain where he was coming. I, I will explain. Okay, so the second highest principle is a way of determining everybody's true feelings on how much they would donate without having everybody actually donate. Because you can game the system. If it's not real money, then you don't really take it very very seriously. So the way that we're going to do it is so there's no collusion. Uh, everyone's going to have to write down it in secret, and the second highest person uh, will actually have to pay. So that way you're not trying to send it too low, you're not trying to send it too high. It's completely random, and only one out of the four will pay. But hopefully we will get the true feelings out of everybody. Right, so, correct, uh, correct. And and so now I'm surprised. I, I thought that, a statement here. that— Yes, go ahead. What's your statement? But no, don't say okay, what you've say done. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just going to say, okay. like— I have to give you, I have to like pledge well, how much I want to do based on a dirty thought and then thinking about Justin and Brian. Absolutely. Yes. So, as, okay. as you should, as we encourage all of our viewers and <laughs> listeners to do, think about us when you're thinking dirty thoughts. Or, or immediately after. I say when, especially okay. when, like at the moment you're having the dirtiest of all your thoughts, think of us. Exactly. Now, I do want to point out to uh, to everybody, what we are doing right now is not only to prove whether or not Dr. Paul Zak is an absolute medical fraud. Um, we are also going to determine the best possible way that we want all of you, those watching live and as well as everybody in, uh, in, in the, the aftermarket as you're downloading this on iTunes, how you should best prepare to listen and view the show uh, all the time. So hopefully we will determine here the best possible pre-show. All right. Now, Dr. Paul, I, I think we have you back on. Dr. Paul, Zach, are you back here on the line with us? <laughs> it sounds like some some part of you has made it through the ether in order to join <laughs> yeah. us over the Internet. Uh, hopefully hopefully we can try to reestablish re -establish the connection. I don't know if you can get closer to your Wi-Fi router or anything. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reinitialize the call right now. But in the meantime, Justin, who is our third test subject? Our third test subject is Mr. Doug Evil. He is going to come, uh, or actually we'll ask him, Doug, uh, what are you going to be doing for us experiment-wise? Um, oh, hold on. Sorry. Uh, that was Dr. Paul coming back from, from beyond the grave. Uh, meanwhile, go I ahead, Doug. God. Talk to us. What are you doing? Uh, I am going to be hugging my mom. Because hugging your mom will increase your levels of oxytocin, right? Absolutely. That's Absolutely. Right. And right. embarrass me on a live web show. Okay, good. <laughs> are, you, are you actually going to bring your mom into the frame to hug her live where everybody can watch you? So the whole internet yes. knows that you love you love Mommy. your mom? That's that's the plan. All right. Now, now what, what, is, what is your mom's name, Doug? What is, what is Mrs. Rita. Evil's name? Rita. 
Rita. Rita, Rita evil. evil. Rita Evil. Doug Rita Evil's evil. mom is Rita Evil. Got it. Uh, let me see if we have Dr. Paul Zach back on the line. Dr. Paul Zach, are you there, sir? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, we can. Well, and I tell you what, if, uh, yeah, here you go. Keep talking. So, so explain to me the idea that hugging your mom will increase your oxytocin levels. What's up with that? Again, promiscuous hormone wants to get out there and attach to people. So think of watching uh, NFL football. Why, watching seen, what? NFL football. Okay, got yeah. it, got it. Yes. Have, have you ever seen a guy say camera, hi, dad? Oh, oh yes. Mom, right? No, they say hi, mom, because that's who you care the most about. She, she gave birth to you, right? Yeah. So who, who, who loves you more than your mom? So there's nothing like mom hugging people to raise your oxytocin levels. So hugging mom is scientifically proven to work. Right. Okay, that totally makes sense. That totally makes sense. And finally, for our fourth experiment, Justin yeah, well, Robinson. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, oh. wait, real quick, let's go back to CarX. CarX, uh, I assume you have now centered yourself. You have uh, completed your deep breathing. Do me a favor and write down yes. 1 through 20 how much money you would like to donate to the show and who, me or uh, is it Bri Bri or the Gerbs, is, is, is the main squeeze. <laughs> is here. it Kook or the racist badger? Which one is the one that you want to donate your dollars to? That's what I'm saying. Just yes, remember. Yes, I avoid this falling asleep. Thank you. Good job. Well done, Car Hacks. Okay, so now we are on to our fourth volunteer, correct? Indeed, indeed. He is uh, a co-host on the uh, This Week in Magic, Spirit of Magic podcast. He's Cameron Ramsey. Uh, please, Cameron, can you explain to everybody what you are going to be doing to get them oxytocin levels all dangerously high? He will do so in mime, apparently. Uh, <laughs> apparently, his microphone levels... Well, I will be saying it all over again. There we go. Go for it. Yeah, Cameron, and go. shoot, Whoa. and go. I will be doing something that many of viewers on this show have done one day in their life, I am sure. Little online porno. You're going you're gonna <laughs> to be watching pornography live online. Is that, is that correct? No, is that true? No chat roulette, sir, just for you guys here on NSFW tonight. <laughs> all right, and so what website will you be visiting, Cameron? Well, all right, well, let's, let's, let's play this, uh, play this a, little, a little clean. Mind you, Cameron, we are on a family network. So in, in like, we're talking about Sesame Street terms. Let's, let's talk about what you are going to be looking at in the cleanest, oh, your squeaky clean as possible. Uh, terms. Right. You're gonna be you're gonna be looking at well, mommies my, and daddies well, doing hours, what? Well, with my hours of research that I committed to this today, <laughs> many of hours of studying actually. Good. I have decided that the women that I will watch is actually the Golden Girls. Okay. So a very specific kind of uh, erotica that um, Cameron Ramsey will be paying attention to. Did I, I just want to make sure I heard you, you, you said, we gave you the assignment of looking at pornography, Cameron, and you for gave For science, that, for science. For science. For science. For science. We told you for science, you needed to look at pornography, and you science. said, you said, I will look at, at the Golden Girls. That's the Golden well, Girls. Well, I think he was using, well, I mean, you guys appreciate it. I even used my gloves, too, for safety. All right. Your oh. Golden, Okay. All right, listen, listen, listen. This is uh. All right, somebody's making noise in the chat room. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to mute all of our test subjects because somebody's making a lot of Justin. Justin. Yeah. Is, is this? Does he actually mean the Golden Girls? Uh, I I <laughs> I've yeah. hung out with Cameron on on a few occasions. Uh, when me and Andrew Maine came up there uh, to the Northeast on a lecture tour, we stayed with him in Rhode Island. I I can confirm. <laughs> That he has a, a, a genuine interest in, let's say we're going to say, in very, very uh, play school terms. Um, uh, here, I'll put it this way. Um, Geriatric hug, shenanigans. Hugging, hugging Doug Evil's mom would have maybe doubled for what Cameron <laughs> would have put in this particular situation. Oh, All right, look, I'm not going to... Uh, I'm, uh, let me turn the audio back up on, on our test subjects. Test subjects, uh, listen, Cameron... Just verify for us that whatever it is you're looking at does cause a sexual arousal within you in other circumstances. 
Oh, it does. Okay. It's on All right. Night, so it's cheap too. All right. Done uh, and done. There, there we go. I, I will only, and, and I will say in, in the name of science. Soviet Russia does not approve. <laughs> Comrade I will, only, I, will only, I will only offer uh, the, the sediment in the chat room, which is kinker. <laughs> kinker. All right. Uh, all right. Now, now real quick, uh, is, is Mrs. Rita Evil uh, here for the hugging? Yes. For, for, for the hugging atrixies. Yes. Oh, here we do. We Holy cow, there's Miss Rita Evil. Hold on, let me uh, let me kick this weird perv off the site. All right, we'll... come on, it's science. There we go. Hi, All right. hi Mrs. Rita Evil. How are oh, you? Hi, Doug Evil's mom. What are we doing? Wait, oh, hi. my God. You there we go. Hi. Okay. Hi. Doug, I want you to give, How listen. How do you explain this to your mother? Listen. All right, first We're of all, chat. All right, look. Stop you guys, it, shut Cameron. up. Shut up, test subjects. All right, listen. Miss Rita Evil, you're a lovely woman. Uh, uh, Doug Evil, here's what I want you to do. In the great history of hugs between man and mom, there have been five of the most meaningful. I want yours to blow them all away. The most meaningful hug ever given to someone's mom happens right now live on the air. Let's see it. Go, Doug Evil. For science. For science. For science. Here we go. Science. He's going in. And, oh, look at that. That's, that's a it. That is a fine hug. This is a long hug. This is a love to last the ages. <laughs> uh, Doug, how you feel, buddy? Was that was that pretty amazing? Um, I don't know if amazing is the word so much. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> wow, wait, oh, stop it! Don't be embarrassed to your mother. Stop it. Yeah. I'm not embarrassed of my mother. I'm embarrassed of the chat room. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame them. Okay, but here's the important thing is now you should be feeling the rush of oxytocin intoxication, mm. which means money for these two guys, or at least one of these two guys. So if you would write down how much from one to twenty dollars you will pay pal to us right now. Doug Evil, and make sure to write down which host should get the dough. Yeah, yeah. All right, and then finally we go to the last one, right, Justin? The added part about this is now, now his mother was looking over his shoulder, watching how much he's willing to pay for the privilege. Of she wants to know how valuable her hug is. Show. Every mother wants to know. Dude, everybody wants a quantifiable number of how valuable their hugs are. <laughs> Come on, man. There's no. Can I just say? Can we bring up bring up Doctor Zach? Uh, can I just say that not only. Is your research, and I've been a fan and admirer of your research ever since uh, um, uh, Andrew Last introduced week. me to it. But I, if I can just say that this uh, level of experimentation, no matter the results, has been the greatest thing that we've ever done on this show. <laughs> I feel like this will go down as one of the most amazing internet moments ever in history. And it is, it is due to you and, and your research. So I thank you. I salute you, Dr. Zach. So, Bringing moms and sons together. What could be better? <laughs> exactly, right? By the way, the chat room uh, points out, they're, they're, they're pointing out the similarity to people who hold signs that say free hugs, right? Uh, which my, one of my favorite photos of all time is somebody holding a sign that says free hugs and then somebody behind him holding another sign saying premium hugs, $2. <laughs> <laughs> the upsell. How can you not go for the upside? Exactly. All right. So we do have, uh, I guess it's time to check in and get our last estimate. And then finally, we could take calls for, for Dr. Paul Zach. Is that correct? Uh, sure. Yeah. Well, we have, we have a few, uh, a few scenarios, but, uh, but, but yeah, we can, we can go with that. Uh, Cameron Ramsey, though, you are, you are our final uh, experiment. Uh, can you confirm that you have, in fact, viewed adult material and by adult uh, apparently, I mean senior citizen in your case. Very adult. Like adults, adults. That's oh, adult Mrs. squared. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Like, like, like adult and then their favorite Blanche. program would be Fibber McGee and Molly. That kind of adult. <laughs> oh, let me tell you, these ladies would look great in fruit uh, pudding. Oh, amazing. Rice pudding, whatever. <laughs> uh, yes, I don't know I do if have. I get it, and I don't know if I want to get it. Uh, Cameron, do me a favor and write down uh, how much we're willing to donate to the show and which of the two hosts, either me or the bride, 
you would like to donate it to. All right. you feel a deeper connection with. Okay, and speaking of which, now let's talk about, we, we did have, we've got our scientific evidence out of the way. Let's let's talk to Paul Zach, right? What what are the things that we want to know, Mr. Justin Robert Young? Well, uh, you know, so much of your research, Dr. Zach, is how in, in various situations we are uh, affected by what goes on in our brain chemically. So I had some people uh, in, in a little pre-show meeting go over maybe some tips that you could give them so they can use this information to their advantage. Use, Justin, or abuse? I'll tell you what, it's up to them. It's all however you 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 choose to uh, maybe squirt a little oxytocin metaphorically in the face of maybe a prospective loved one or a uh, uh, an employer. That's up to the people that will be watching this fine program. Got it. All right. So, what is our first scenario? And and first of all, you hear where we're coming from, right here, Dr. Paul Zach. We're we're going to propose a scenario. We want to know how best to abuse everything you've worked on for the last however many years in order for personal gain, right? Sounds like sounds like scam school to me. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I loved go. you. Good guy. All right, let's do this. Uh, now, can we not bring up Dr. Zach on, on video? Every time we bring up the video, it doesn't work out so hot. Like I'm gonna me. keep uh, I'm gonna keep him on audio so that we I'm don't too get, ugly. I'm just too ugly for we don't get the oh, so Stop it. Stop it, sir. Hey, he's ruggedly handsome. <laughs> I only say that um, because you love me. <laughs> now, well, one that came up uh, many, many times was you know, the romantic thing. Let's say you're like our face-painted friend, Mike, and, and you see the girl in, in the short little mini dress walking through the IT hallways, and, and you maybe want to make a, a first move. Is there, oxytocin-wise, a optimum time, a window for you to really uh, you know, get the, the, the best result, to make your move? There absolutely is. And... You know, it has to do with uh, essentially running a con. I mean, you know, getting a girl is like running a con, right? Sure, yeah. Of Turns course, yeah. Con that's, are very that's what good. I told my wife on her wedding night. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is that, yeah, Brian, instead of saying I do, Brian screamed, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> You're locked for life, my lady. <laughs> so what you want to do is appear fragile. You want to appear needy, helpful. Not too needy because then, you know, not sexually needy, not, uh, I love you, you're so cute, but, oh, miss, could you help me? I've never been on campus before. I need to find the administration building. Would it be possible? I'm so thirsty. Is there a place I can find a drink? Could you help me? Could you show me? So what you don't want to do is show her how interested you are in her. You want to do the opposite. You want to make her want to help you, you want to make her bond to you. When you show you're fragile, her brain will release oxytocin and she'll be instantly bonded to you at look at this nice guy oh he was so nice he had me walk him over to the building i showed him where the drinks were and then we had a date and we went out and now we're married okay now i i'm not gonna lie this is very counter to my experience uh, yeah. in, in, in college in college oh, i'm sorry dr brushwood please explain <laughs> explain to the brain doctor how your uh, experimentation differs. I'm just saying, I'm just saying that it seems like being needy doesn't <laughs> seem like the best way to, to land a land lady. No, well, he's saying stuff ne like- There's needy, like, there's needy, right? So there's not like, oh, I'm so helpless. But you know, think of the guys in the wheelchair. Let me tell you, a pair of crutches, they work like magic. You know what? There's, there's actually a guy who, who tours colleges doing some kind of lecture about like, you know, uh, awareness of people with disabilities or whatever. The guy's got no legs. His legs are cut off. He gives away these buttons that say I heart gimp sex. And they <laughs> and the chicks are wearing them all over this conference, everywhere I go. So it's like, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe that guy's getting like crazy play. That may, that would make sense. I mean the cool guy stuff we think works. Actually it doesn't work at a very high rate. I mean, unless you're, you know, whatever, Brad Pitt gorgeous. Unless you're Otherwise, really, really, else. really cool. Yes. If you're just medium cool, no way. Go, you're then, busted. Then, you're talking, then you want to go backdoor. You want to backdoor this thing into, <laughs> hey, can you help me? <laughs> can you give me some direction? Can you hold my hand? You know? Yeah, chicks. Is, is that what you recommend? Let's all your chicks chicks testes yeah, go yeah, yeah. backdoor? What, what, what's that? Say it again. Is that what you recommend? All your testes just go backdoor? That's right. <laughs> 
Uh, okay, all right. So what's our next scenario, Justin? All right, all right. So, so there we go. Uh, that that is that is what another one that came up was 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 professional. Let's say uh, you're, you're looking for that raise. Let's say maybe uh, you want boss is a bit of a grump. You know, every time you come up to them and kind of broach the subject, they're really cranky about it. What's the best time to really uh, uh, hit them so so that switch flips and they're like, you know what? I do want to cut you a little bit of a fatter check. Yeah. So this is where flattery works. You want to come in with a gift. So we've done bazillions of studies. That's a technical word in which people give gifts to others and your brain is spurting out oxytocin and you don't care who you're nice to anymore. Sure. You're giving away money like crazy. So you got to come in and say, hey, Mr. Smith, just got back from my business trip. I was at Niagara Falls and I bought you a picture of Niagara Falls. Whatever it is, you got to come in with a gift. If the guy's grumpy, you got to wear him down. Mm. And actually, yeah, that's actually consistent with what I'd read about. Uh, there was a study of... Uh, really, doctor? Hmm. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Well, while you were waiting for the proctologist, you read the magazine. That's listen. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that that, that I had read. Uh, unlike the previous advice, which is counter to my experience, th this mm -hmm. one is very right in line with the with my experience. In that, when you give somebody a gift, they feel this need to reciprocate. Right? They want to give back right. to whatever to whatever it is you you just did. Now, 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 let me ask you this. This is something that I heard uh, as kind of like like a business anecdote. But but if you could confirm through science, at the best gifts, maybe this is like. One of those uh, double oxytocin cook -a, cook a combo kind of things. But if you get a gift, not for the boss, but something that makes the boss look good in front of his kids. Like, let's say you get them tickets to the ball game that you take that like, oh, hey, I know you have two boys. Here's some tickets to the Marlins game. Why don't you go check that out? So we can go back home and look like super dad. Is that a, 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 a better gift than just a random, hey, by the way, here's a bushel of bananas. <laughs> Absolutely. You know why? Because it's a social gift. So if you do the gift in public, you're at the weekly sales meeting with the boss and you roll out the gift. Awesome. Make him look like a hero in front of his family. Double awesome. Absolutely. A heroine in front of, make him look like he's on, <laughs> high on the heroine. <laughs> make All right. Look like he's All riding the somebody. horse. The white horse. Uh, <laughs> so there we go. So that if you get a gift for your boss's kids, it's a veritable oxytocin bukkake. And you know the worst part of this is I'm the expert on this, and even I'm not immune to it. Of course, because it's science, I go science, to the store, right? they give me a gift, and say, oh, here's a sample, and I'm like, oh, yeah, where do, where do I sign? What am I buying? So it's hard to turn it off. Have you ever, what's the biggest, what's the moment that you really, like, it just hit you out of nowhere? I mean, obviously, uh, you you obviously have noticed more than once that, that you are a victim of the exact same techniques that you're very aware of. What is the biggest, boldest one that like was like, wow, I am not immune to this at all. Well, you know, maybe not the biggest one, but the one that got me thinking about this whole line of research was I was 18 years old, working at a gas station after school in some bad part of California, gangs and stuff like that. And I got conned. I got conned out of a 20 bucks, a classic con called Pigeon Drop. You guys have heard of it. Oh, yeah. Wow. And you were a victim of the Pigeon Drop. That's I awesome. I was. It was great. And the guy just played me in and sucked well, it happened. Brian, Brian I mean, can, you, can you explain the, the Pigeon Drop? Or actually, you no, know, uh, Dr. Zach, if you're going to yeah, explain please, the situation please. that happened. Right. So this is a, a two-person con in which one person lays down uh, some jewelry, some cash. They find it on the street. And then you approach a stranger saying, hey, what should we do? We. The key word is we. We uh, found this beautiful pearl necklace. Uh, well, you know, how do we do it? And you get a phone call. Someone says, oh, I lost my pearl necklace. And But the guy who found it has to leave. So he's going to split the reward with you. And you've got to pony up half the cash while you wait for the rest of the reward from the Confederate. So, you know, I had this beautiful box with a pearl necklace. Of course, I'm not out the 100 bucks. And worse, I'm 18 years old. I don't have 100 bucks. I took it out of the cash drawer. Yep. The gas station. Oh, oh. my God. <gasps> So you, you just took a little seed money from, from, from the, gas, the gas station there. Then you got to call your boss and say, oh, man, I was a schmuck. You oh, know? my God. They took so, me. So this is, what, this is what got you started in, uh, you know, as you got into the sciences, this was your direction because you were fascinated by this experience. The uh, good and evil, yeah. By the way, uh, I, I will confess, as long as we're all, you know, throwing it out there on the table, I also fell for a, uh, a an alternate scam. This one was one where two guys driving around a parking lot, you know, they run up, they're like, hey, dude, you want to buy some speakers? 
It was like, uh, no, why? And they're like, well, we got these studio monitors. We just installed them at the strip club down the way. We ordered two more than we thought we needed. And it turns out, they, by the way, and then they handed me this catalog, this catalog that shows these studio monitors for $1,200. They're like, yeah, dude, they took, totally took a bath on it. We just got to liquidate these things. We'll give them to you for 300 bucks. So I'm holding a magazine that clearly shows these studio monitors at, th at $1,200, and they want to give it to me for 300 bucks. I'm like, well, shoot, yeah. Now, keep in mind, I thought, this is a bunch of horse apples. These guys stole these things. And I'm going to get some $1,200 monitors for only $300. And thinking that I was going to get like, you know, some, some, some quick upsell, I ran to the ATM and gave them $300. And it turns out, strangely, that what makes the scam work is the fact that they're totally not illegal. They haven't been stolen. These are just really crappy speakers <laughs> they bought on consignment <laughs> that look like $1,200 speakers. They tell a story. They make you think that it's stolen. They make you think you're getting the upper hand and you jump on it and then you're totally screwed. So then by the time, by them that you figured it out and that you are, uh, that, that you are uh, about to call the cops, you, you've already, you know, the, the, the haze of I've done something illegal is enough for them to get away. Oh yeah, no, no, no. I, in fact, it wasn't like two months later until I found out. Like I was so excited, like I bought stolen merchandise and I got a great deal on it. I was so super stoked. And then I was telling my my girlfriend's brother, now my brother-in-law, I was describing, I was like, you wouldn't believe it. These guys, they drove up and they, they told me that they were extra surplus, but I knew they were stolen. And he was just like, oh yeah, so you saw that scam too. I was like, <laughs> S scam? What? What? Huh? Huh? So, what? He's like, yeah, no, they were showing that on the news. Those guys who go around pretending to sell stolen speakers, they're not stolen at all. It's like, ah. <laughs> of, course, of course they're not. <laughs> right? So, yeah. yeah so. I would be an idiot like that. This is so crazy. But I, here's here's what I'm, I'm upset now. They that, like, let you, you know, be uh, a hero. They let you trust them they said hey we don't know what we're doing man we just got these extra speakers and you're thinking man i'm the smart guy suckers you know, they're trusting me i'm gonna suck them in yeah. that's right that's right you know here's so that's the what, thing. That's what like, you want to do the girl you want to suck her in you want to well let's not use that language no but yes you, you want, do you do you want to suck her in let's i mean you know fingers crossed her. uh yeah here's what i'm i'm upset about you know back in the day in his formative years dr zach is conned by some random dude at a gas station and then he becomes this world-renowned scientist in his field. Brian gets conned by some jerks with a, a, a thing called speakers, and he goes on to create the ever-popular scam school. Uh, why wasn't I scammed? I could have done something really cool. Yep. Instead, I'm just stuck yelling on a podcast. I'd why hate, wasn't I? I'm, I'm furious that I wasn't scammed. As I hate guy. to say it, but you probably were scammed. It's just you didn't have the privilege of finding out exactly in what way you were scammed yet. Maybe that's it. You know, I'll tell you what, I'll have to ask the guy that convinced me to pay him a dollar every month of my life. Well, what he thinks of that. <laughs> Who, who's that guy? <laughs> I love you, <laughs> The picture of Dr. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> somebody, somebody in the chat room. That's him. That's the guy. <laughs> uh, all right. I think, are we? Um, yeah. Uh, uh, but, oh, no, nobody need to talk about Yes. Uh, sponsor. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Before we move forward, we do got to talk about our sponsor for this episode of NSFW. You know, some people at home, Justin, might be thinking yeah. it's a little bit selfish for us to be taking contributions for anyone who wants to support NSFW and tell them to send that money to PayPal at schwood.com. That's S-H-W-O-O-D.com. Uh, or and Justin Robert Young at Gmail. That's right. Or Justin Robert Young at Gmail.com on PayPal. They're like, what are you guys going to do with the monies? You guys don't need the monies. You're on the highfalutin twit network, right? Exactly. What do you say about that, Justin? Can't send me anyway. <laughs> I have more money than no, I have specifically, now. but uh, where I wanted to Oh, with I this. know, I know. Okay, Listen, go ahead. You might need that money because there's so much precious stuff we have on our computers that is really precariously hanging by a thread for both me and Brian. And there's such awesome solutions out there that we could totally take advantage of, like 
Carbonite.com. Yeah, for those of you guys that don't know, Carbonite is completely seamless, totally easy backup. You install the program, it backs up everything that matters to you on your hard drive, and it puts it up in the cloud where it cannot vanish. Because I used to think I was a clever guy, and I was like, well, I'll just buy myself a little external hard drive and copy everything over to that thing and then keep it with me. And no matter what happens, everything will be fine until somebody steals your backpack, until your house burns down along with your backups of all your family photos, of your tax records, of everything you do for your job. Look, man, it sucks bad enough to have your house burn down, but to lose all of your important data as well. Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. But for, I mean, imagine all the time that you spent convicting your ex-girlfriend to send naked pictures out the window. Gone forever. Out the window unless you back Gone that forever. up on the cloud on Carbonite as soon as possible. Because you want to know what? It'll never disappear. It'll just be there <laughs> smiling down on you at any given time. It'll never be a part. Imagine like one of those pictures where, where the kind of half translucent god is looking down upon humanity. That's going to be all of your data, including... The picture of your, your ex girlfriend. <laughs> okay, but the point is here's the thing. Uh, we have been tremendous fans of what Carbonite's been doing for the longest time, but. I'm not going to lie. It's like there are certain things that you want to get done for yourself and you know they're the right thing to do. You know it's a bad idea to leave all your data on your crappy hard drives that are just going to crumble and get corrupted and get viruses on them. And so what you want to do is you want to back it up on carbonite. All right, folks, I'm at a level with you. We're going to need a lot of referrals on this one, okay? There's no way we can do this read and have it not pay off. We pretty much pushed all in on you guys all getting Carbonite accounts. So go right now and go to Carbonite.com, promo code NSFW, and get a Carbonite account for God's sakes or else we're kidding. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know what? I didn't quite mean for this to be a pivotal moment in the history of the show, but it turns <laughs> out it is. Uh, listen, if you guys have ever loved NSFW, you got to show Carbonite that this thing pays off for them. Head on over to Carbonite.com. Get off-site, in-the-cloud backup, secure, it's safe, it's easy. Use promo code NSFW and save our show because I think I just drove it off a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Carbonide.com. <laughs> All right. So uh, what do we got left to discuss here? Do we want to actually reveal what people were willing to donate? Uh, I, I think we are. Uh, uh, Dr. Zach, uh, real quick. So is there any particular order that you think, uh, knowing these experiments and which one are more potent than others, that we should, uh, that we should go first or, or last? I <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, Dr. Paul. It, it, it appears as you've gotten a little bit silonated at the moment. <clears throat> let me reinitialize. Let me optimize our signal here for a second yeah. here. Yeah, let, let me optimize the signal. Uh, so we will start then the way that we went, uh, and we will begin with the man who had the fantasy of the fine young filly in the tiny black dress prancing about his IT workplace. The man in the face paint, Mike, uh, can you please now reveal how much, first, how much uh, you were going, uh, you were you're willing to donate to the show? Uh, hold on one second. First of all, Dr. Ball, are you back on the line with us? Ah, <laughs> oh, Cylon Paul. We'll call He's you here. right back. All right, Michael, what are you going to donate to the show, bro? He's holding up. Eighteen forty-two. Eighteen dollars and forty-two cents. A commendable oh, that's amount. That's huge. I mean, because the two twenty—that's nearly the full. <clears throat> and way, way less important. Uh, to whom of your two inimitable co-hosts would you like that money to go? Towards purchasing carbonite, sir. He says oh, Batman. Wrong one. Wrong one. No, hold on. <laughs> He says, Batman, jury, Justin Robert Young. It's 18. Oh, God. Yes. Justin. All right. Now, now, uh, just, just to be fair, though, that's a reasonably high number, so he, may, he might not be the one who actually pays. 
Is it his second highest? No, I mean, that's true. But still, the fact that he's willing to put it on the line and say, if push comes to shove, I will donate 1842 to, uh, I mean, you of all people. <laughs> right? I mean, you. Come on. <laughs> right? Uh, Brian, uh, this is actually, uh, I think we have Dr. Uh, Paul Zach uh, back on the line. And uh, what do you think about Brian not getting the first uh, donation? It's very interesting. No, Do Dr. Dr. Paul actually is on the line. Dr. Paul, are you there, buddy? I thought it was Stephen Hawking the whole time. <laughs> uh, no, uh, we Surprise. do have uh, Dr. Paul's a little bit like Dak Tech Lockback Inversion Torque time. <clears throat> He's got, uh, are you still there, bud? Here. Yeah, we're getting bits and pieces. Maybe we should actually call him. If only we had thought far enough in advance, Justin, to like have his phone number. So that sure. I could, so that uh, I could, Rams, uh, you can't be changing your answer now. So that I could actually call him directly right now on the line to get him on here. So we've got sure, our yeah. first result, our first result on the line. Second of all, who do you want to go with next, Justin? Uh, we will go in the order in which we went, which means that Car Hacks, Comrade Car Hacks from Sweden, the man who is centering his chakras, uh, is going to go next. All right, Comrade Car Hacks, what was your donation? Sir. Back it up with Carbonite. Do it. Right now, go and sign up. Just do it. Do what? <laughs> Carbonite, he says. Oh, Carbonite. Carbonite. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, thank you for the plug. We, we need it. He's holding up. It looks like 42 Swedish kroner, which so I believe was... comes to be $5.65. All right. So wow. there we go. And who would you like to do, Justin? Ah, come on! All right, all right, all right. Well, then that brings uh. Carbonite. That's two. <laughs> that's two down. Now, wait, wait, comrade, what is the promo code again? Nice. MSFW. <laughs> Thank Carbonite. you. Good job, Carhack. Thank you. Thank you. Good. All right. So, uh, by the way, at this moment, with five dollars and sixty-two cents, uh, car, uh, con, uh, Comrade Car Hacks Carbonite is uh, currently our second place. So he could end up actually giving you the money. You could walk away with five whole dollars here, Justin. Indeed. Who do you want to check Unless with next? Unless there are people uh, above it, uh, and they you know might like uh, for some reason uh, the the, the bri bri as opposed to the jerks. Well, I don't know about that. Let's not get crazy, right? All right. Meanwhile, I'm calling. I'm calling. Uh, Dr. Paul Zach on the line. Who do you want to go with next? Our third. Hey, ho. hey Dr. Paul. Sorry that uh, that things got a little bit nutty there, but we've got you on the uh, the phone here. Let's go right. to Mike's mom. No, Doug's mom. Doug's mom. Doug Evil. Read Mr. It Doug Evil. Evil. Yes. Now I would yeah. say of of all the ones that we did, that's the one I was gonna bet on. Uh, that that's really got that oxytocin roiling to a boil there. All up through his ear holes is is giving old, old really? mother dear a big fat hug. Yes. Meditation. No, not meditation. <laughs> the hugging. What and tell us, Doug, what amount are you prepared to donate to NSFW show? Well, I gotta tell you, I made the mistake of looking in the chat room, and so I think it kind of affected my number. Oh, uh, you changed it. No, I didn't change it. Three dollars. Three whole dollars. Oh, oh. Wow. oh, you're out of the house, man. Your mom's never going to talk to you again. That's that's from Dr. Paul Zach himself talking to you that way. And who would get you? Who would get your lousy three bucks? Justin. J R Y. My yeah. Woo! Enjoy your three dollars. Well played. All right. Well, no, now, now I would get the five because second highest would be five. So if it's less than five, I'm guaranteed five. Right? Okay. At yeah. least five. So the only way for me to get anything is if the fourth entry comes in at under $18 and picks me because they would be second highest. Under, under $18 and uh, above five. So you are going to go ahead. You're rolling the dice. On uh, on what Cameron will be rolling the dice to after this show's over. Oh on. my God, that's and right, that Cameron Ramsey, who of uh, course was very uh, experienced people <laughs> doing very experienced things. All right, Cameron oh. Ramsey, let's see what after taking your moment to increase your levels of oxytocin, did you decide to donate to NSFW, sir? 
<clears throat> okay. He's holding up. That is two dollars ninety nine. And that would go to Justin Robert Young. Clean sweep, baby. Oh my God, I am not comfortable. We have a systematic error in this whole procedure. I yes, it's getting carbonite, baby. I it's, for it's one, a carbonite dream for me. <laughs> Hell yeah! Sorry. I can't believe you're going to get carbonite and you're going to be able to back up your awesome porn collection, and I will not be able to do anything. Uh, no one said uh, anything about all that, and you know, just saying a lot of you know a lot of the the writings I've done over the years, maybe some some family photos, some. Things that were illicitly sent over Skype in the years 2003 to 2004. <sighs> you know, things like that. All right. All right. Uh, by the way, isn't Carbonite what uh, Han Solo was frozen in? It was. It was. Well, then that makes it all the cooler, in my opinion. No <laughs> lie. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's, I'm like, it's just like, looking for every possible reason to talk about how awesome Carbonite is. Because if we are, I would like to go over a few more. <laughs> Number one, it's so easy to join. No, 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 no. Ladies and gentlemen, do not join Carbonite because it's easy. Do not do it because it's reliable. Do not do it because it backs it up in the cloud and that it's secure, safe, reliable, and easy and affordable. You do it because that's what Han Solo was frozen in. Carbonite. Exactly. Exactly. And while you're signing up for Carbonite, please remember to not mention this commercial to anybody else because we don't <laughs> want it to get out. But we do um, want the promo code to be used at all times. Promo yes. code NSFW. Yes, there we go. And also use it because Dr. Paul Zach, uh, we, we've proven uh, scientifically, I think, well, what? I mean, what would you say? As, as a man who has done so many of these experiments, what do you think the results are? Well, we've just proven that fantasies are good for you. Now you Indeed. realize this is a beautiful result. Fantasies are better than porn. They're better than hugs from your mom. Let's go fantasize. All that right. is true. You that know is what? true. Actually, all all I it took was one pretty little dream to drive <laughs> that oxytocin so gosh darn wild. Like, like, like a sea, like a wave of oxytocin crashing across a wayward light post. In fact, you know, when Mike described that girl, I was having the fantasy as well. Yeah, what Me was too. your fantasy? I was fantasizing about the girl in the short black dress, so I want to give you guys 20 bucks. <laughs> hey! Hey, look at that. And who would you like to give it to, doctor? Oh, <laughs> Brian! Hey! <laughs> uh, uh, unfortunately... <laughs> Unfortunately, that's uh, the highest bid, which means the second place bid now goes to Justin. Well, this is a Yay, rigged contest. I get $18. This is a rigged contest Carbo on Carbo Night. <laughs> All right, so Dr. Paul Zach, how can people follow you on Twitter? They can follow me at Paul J. Zach. At Paul J. Zach. How I many followers do you Twitter, want? Doctor, I want to follow you. I want 50,000. You're at 50,000? Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. A couple hundred. Uh, yeah, no, everybody, uh, follow Dr. Zach. Yeah, no, let's see, let's see how much we can blow this up. I'm going to go, I'm going to head over to Twitter, uh, twitter.com slash oh, no. Paul J. Zach, J-Z-A-K. And let's see, <clears throat> awesome. Okay, look, let's see how many people we can watch. And by the way, all of his previous tweets, because I follow him, he is very, very funny, very, very clever. You definitely need to follow him. Head on over to Twitter, follow Paul J. Zach, and let's see how much we can blow him up. Until then, where can people see you, Mr. Justin uh, Robert well, did you, Young? Real quick, before, before we get up talking about uh, Dr. Dr. Paul, uh, you really don't understand uh, how awesome it is to have somebody who is really as well respected as as Dr. Paul or Dr. Paul Zach is in his field to come on a show like this. I really thank you uh, for coming on, Doctor. Absolutely, I had a blast. Thanks Tremendous for putting up with the, uh, the computer put downs. Uh, yeah, exactly, and suffering through, through all that. 
Um, mm-hmm. Let me explain. Like, like half the ep- half the ideas that you thought were ridiculous, like why are Brian and Justin subjecting this professional to this level of idiocy? Half those were his ideas. <laughs> for what that's worth. It's true, unfortunately. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And I'm gonna go ahead and blame the carbonite read on him too. Uh, I'm going to say YouTube.com/slash Weird Things TV. Uh, do me a favor. We're, we're, we're applying for a YouTube partnership right now so do me a favor and give us a few more subscriptions maybe comment on the video so we look a little bit more impressive again youtube.com slash weird things tv uh weird things the website every day weird things the podcast on itunes i tricks if you dig magic and the key from andrew main go to andrewmain.com and check out the key if you dig magic it is the best magic effect you will ever see in your entire life that's right and of course we want to thank all of our volunteers for our highly scientific study thank you you did invaluable contributions not only to the pocketbooks uh the pocketbooks of uh, nsfw people but also to uh to science itself and thank you for putting together the nsfw shirt michael that is the best ever uh you can follow me at twitter at at schwood that's at s-h-w-o-o-d i'm trying real hard to get over that twenty thousand mark i'd love for you guys to hear my inane thoughts and ramblings until then we will see you next tuesday is that right justin See you next Tuesday, everybody! Die in a fire. Die in a fire. Naked pictures of your girlfriend's backside. We encourage you to back that ass up. <laughs> it's not... <laughs> it's specifically... <laughs> <laughs>